Good morning. We're the Rolling Rucks and we're at the NEC. Caravan Camping and Motorhome Show 2022. We just picked up our passes. We're going to go off and get a coffee and then we're going to show you guys what's here at the NEC. Let's go. Caravan Camping, Motorhome Show 2022 and to show you the map. So we've got one, two, three, four, five halls this year. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot buy tickets on the door this year. The event is sold out. Um, there's a hundred thousand limit per day. Um, so yeah, it's going to be interesting. So we've just bumped into one of our lovely subscribers, been watching us on our journey. So uh, they've bumped into us at the NEC this morning and we're just trying to find out why you're here. So what have you got in mind for today? No, what, come up, obviously we've got a van, so we don't need to, to worry about that side of it, but yeah. it's more like the information for traveling, yeah, places to stay in this country, oh going abroad, over to France, even down to either Italy. Portugal, something like and maybe that. pick up some bits and bobs along the way, is oh, it? Oh yeah, yeah. Excellent. <laughs> well, like hi. Yeah. Well, it's really lovely to see you, and thank you so much for coming up and saying hi. Oh, thank um, you. But yeah, there's five stalls, so if you, uh, five halls, sorry. So there's a lot to get through today, isn't there? Right. So yeah, lots to look at. Okay, so we've got Coachman here. This is Hall Two. So we are heading to Hall Three, but we've decided to take a little stroll through here. Got some nice VWs. And again, more caravans. We are literally going to have a field day here. Electric uh, scooters. I love those. Vespas. I love them. They're so cool, aren't they? We've got Vespas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we've got Bailey here. We've got Auto Trail. And we're going to head over to Roller Team and see if we can have a little look well, at what they've got. got. They are loyal, our loyalties large. Yeah, Rolling Rucks love Roller Team, so that's where has we're going to go. Roller in it. <laughs> so they've got maps everywhere, so you can't get lost. I do like how it is all in one big circle, though. It's really it's like well U shaped, isn't it? It's really well uh, laid out, isn't it? Yeah. So this one is the Pegaso 745. It's their 2022 model. So you've got a drop down bed but here, but that will come to about this sort of height. So I would imagine you've still got a ladder to get access to that. Yeah. But what I really do like, and this is something in our next motorhome we're going to have, is the captain seats that swivel onto the dining table. Because at the moment, while stars do swivel, only the passenger seat can sort of interact with it, but it's still not at the table, where these are all at the table, aren't they? Yeah, and the thing is, it does give you that feeling of family togetherness then, so... Have you got an, another nice big... It's very dark in here. Yeah, they haven't put the lights on, but you've got a nice big U-shaped lounge at the rear. So that's going to convert another as well. Another good thing for a family like us is the tall fridge freezer, although I would say we don't get any more space in that you because get... it's narrower luck. Oh right, yeah. But you do get some uh, space at the top there for a freezer and the bottom I do believe is an ice drawer. Ah, no, I think it's a fridge drawer. The freezer's another, it's still a little compartment luck at the top. Right, okay. But that is still bigger than what we've got and it is enough just to store a few bits in, isn't it? Yeah. So handy. It's nice. You've got your Thetford uh, oven there. Yeah, that's the exact same one that's in ours at the moment. What's... Actually, that'll be a cob. Oh yeah, look, still three, but it's a nicer shape. Yeah. And you have got a sink cover in this one. Dun dun dun! dun, dun and a plug. And a plug. We're missing a plug. <laughs> Should nope. we buy a new van? <laughs> yeah, just so we can have a new plug. The one, the other thing I do like as well is that it has a dedicated shower room. Yeah, I do like that. That's a nice bit of space that we literally do miss. I gotta say, we do miss. We have got. Um, an overhead, but it's uh, not quite big enough for a family, I would say. But that's a nice, nice bathroom there. And it's on a Fiat. Yeah, it's the new 2022 Fiat Takato. No, this isn't. This is an A-Class. So this would be on, um, it's on the same chassis, but it's the whole frame is built around the chassis. Oh, it's as a lovely looking to, van, isn't it? Yeah, the cabin on the back of a Takato, like it is on a motorhome. So is that... So that's the price. 
We're going to take a look at a Coachman Travel Master 545. Looks like we've got a fixed island bed at the rear, a separate shower unit with a toilet facilities here. Here's the tech spec. So this is inside the Coachman. Plenty of overhead storage directly above the cab, which is on the Mercedes Sprinter. She's got plenty of steering wheel controls, a lovely black gloss, like a piano gloss black finish on the dash. They're the captain seats both sides that both rotate into this lounge area. So this is the kitchen. Got your sink. Three gas hobs from the electric burner. I do like that you've got the separate grill and oven. Set of drawers just below the sink. Right, I don't know how to open this one. Um, there you go. Ah, yes, yeah, so you, you've got these thumb turn locks up top. And a nice little pull out. At the back, which I do like, is a massive fixed island bed you've got wardrobes either side with little steps that take you up some more storage for here on each side and some nice little overlocker cupboards you've got a skylight here and an air conditioning unit just for you and then for you You've got the toilet. Now what just happened to this, we had this on one of our previous caravans where when you open the toilet door, it actually opens up and locks into a separate section so it just isolates this area. Nice little shower cubicle. <laughs> and then you've got the nice extra large fridge freezer with the two way opening. This one, please. Of course, you can, darling. And a microwave. The it's got a microwave. It's got a fixed bed and it's got a nice long fridge. So, I mean, we can get rid of the kids then if I buy you this. No. no. Just buy this moto track, motor home, and the size pop out. So, this is a Euro Trekker from 100,100. 199. It's on a Peugeot. Loads of features on this. So I'm just about to gonna go in and show you what it's like. Okay, so we've got a front lounge, cupboards above, and these lovely uh, pilot seats that spin. So of course this makes it into a really nice lounge. And it looks like we've got an over cab, yeah, over cab bed there. Lovely. Gorgeous kitchen. Set food, oven, nice big cupboard underneath the sink area by there. You've got your nice uh, sink cover on, something I'm super jealous of. Microwave and fridge. Nice big fixed bed at the back. And they've even popped a telly in, that's lovely isn't it? And then you've got the cupboards each side and the overheads bathroom, nice cupboard, this door also closes so you can have that as a toilet like a bathroom door and then the walkway or you can shut it off completely and have then your shower area all in one so it looks like an ensuite then. This fan is reasonably priced I feel because the amount of just the size of it. Uh, there's a step down there and also we've got the drawer fittings there. Lovely. Ah, guess what's your love? Do you think this would cure us running out of gas all the time? Yeah, I think this is the solution that we need, to be honest. Yeah. Hiya. Are you all right? Yeah. We're notorious for running out of gas. It's our so we're, thing. We're well known, that's our thing. <laughs> we always run out of gas. New Year's Eve, we're in the middle of the Lake District, it's five o'clock in the night, and guess who runs out of gas? <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, normally I've got up 
I say run out, but it's only five o'clock in the morning, frosty morning, you're going out, you can't find your spanner, you're knocking, you're wrecking your knuckles, you <laughs> Guaranteed he's so going to run out at the worst time. We're going to be putting in a refillable system. Yeah. It's got to be done. The so thing is, because you can top up, can't you? And this is the issue. You've got the car there. Because you've got to wait for it to be empty. Yes. Then, so this one. So that's your two point seven, two. like the camping gas. Yep. That's your six, and that's your eleven. Oh, I see. Right, okay. Can I feel the way you've done that? That's quite nice for an eleven. Oh, yeah, very, very we don't need eleven. No, to me, I thought it was a six. No, it's two eleven. Oh, okay. You can have either two sixes or two eleven. Okay. How much is it on, on the sixes? six for it? Six eighty. Oh, you may as well have the 11. Quid, you go to the 11. This is what I'm saying. So two 11s, and then where do you see whether they're full or not? It's here. So there's a black line across the side and the top. So okay. sometimes you have to twist them in. If you're not yeah. looking at that black line dead on, it read, you can misread it. Yeah, so, yeah. so you can look quite often, take a picture looking straight down. And you know so that's pretty are. accurate. Then. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Brilliant. So Fabulous. 710 pounds for the, for the two 11s. system of the yeah. two 11s with the changeovers and the fillet valve. And then the sixes were 680. Yeah. So yeah, we, we would probably go for the 710 because yeah. it just makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Subaru, I've done uh, a peak challenge. We've got the walls for the kids to climb. And Dexter, as usual, straight in there in the queue, can't wait. I'm just laughing at R3. 45, 45. Just found him playing bingo. <laughs> 5 and 8, 58. They literally. 1 and They literally 40. didn't even look up. <laughs> Entertained at the NEC. 
So we're here with Rachel and Dave, and they've just come to see us in the seaside resort in the NEC. So why have you guys come to the NEC today? Well, uh, Rachel's got a massive shopping list, Lovely. so we've already spent loads. Yep. So we've subscribed to Britstops, yep. so we're, we're in that. Excellent. We've bought a silver screen uh, for the front of the motorhome. With eyes? With, with eyes. With eyes. Oh, they got yeah. the eyes. I've been asking <laughs> for eyes. Yeah, eyes. <laughs> um, and we're also looking at gas flow. Um, Fabulous. So we're going to have a look so at that. So do you know someone that runs out of gas a lot by any chance? <laughs> uh, I did see an episode of someone who <laughs> ran out of gas on a very particular important day of the year. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the funny thing is, we've already been to Gaslow and asked for a price ourselves. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we were like, we've got to get in there. And obviously, they've got the Rolling Ruck stickers as well, which is really lovely. Oh, yes. yes. Rolling Ruck. Good to see you. We've got so. the Rolling Ruck. That'll go yeah. on the van. Well, guys, we, we've had a fantastic day. And thanks so, so much for coming over yeah. and saying hello yeah. to us. Thank you. <laughs> so, we've just come down into Hall 5 and found the lithium batteries. Camper vans, motorhomes, and caravans. This is something that we've been talking about. Um, basically, now we're on the road full time. We need as much energy as we can possibly get. Hello. So, this may be something for us to look into. I just found Wine Mania. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to have a quick look. You can add that one. Wow. Or that one. Look at them. That it's still not big enough for you, is it, love? <laughs> it's bigger than a meter. Yeah. No, that that one. Two small points, I think gold Gulp, gulp, gulp. Yeah, definitely going to be checking that place out. So that was day one at the NEC, and oh. I'm not good. My it's legs are killing. My knees, my ankles, and I had trainers on. So if you are coming up later this week, wear a good set of shoes. Yeah, definitely wear a good set of shoes. And I mean, if you can spread it over a couple of days, it's going to be better because this thing is massive. There's five halls, and you've got like a outer ring in each hall where all the smaller shops are, and then you've got all the big dealers, etc., in the middle. Uh, but what do you think, love? Oh first time i've ever been and i gotta say i loved it it was, it was brilliant good, wasn't it? we've met some absolutely wonderful people actually yeah so thanks, so for, thanks everyone. for coming to say yeah, hello and, come up uh, and said hello it was lush wasn't yeah it? yeah and the kids had obviously there was a lot of walking for them so as you'd have seen we did spend a bit of time there them have a bit of fun as well um but it was good i was yeah. impressed you know there was a something for everyone again wasn't there yeah and i think they said there was like a hundred thousand people due in um tickets had all sold out anyway so whatever that number was but it certainly did not feel did no, it definitely that busy. not it, like it, don't get me wrong there was there was plenty of people there there was lots of people there but i yeah. think because it is over such a vast area that it didn't feel like you had 100,000 people around no. you at any given you, time. Yeah, even at the busiest moments, we still were able, okay, we had to queue for things, but it wasn't massive queues, no, was it? No, not at all. Everyone no queue was, really was more than a couple of, of minutes. It was good, it was good. It yeah. was nice to see everyone out and about and enjoying what we all enjoy, yeah. so. Well, the kids had a whale of a time, didn't they? I mean, they got the wall, they got the pool on, the, on those little kayak things. They got yeah, a helter-skelter, yeah. they had the sand pit. <laughs> they even played a game of bingo. Yeah, they I had mean, a game of blooming bingo. And there we were, We had, I think we managed to eat about five chips all day, didn't we? Yeah. Had a coffee first thing, but and that was it. <laughs> knackered, no, absolutely knackered. So we're back there tomorrow. Yeah. Um, we're gonna have a bit of an easier day tomorrow. We're not gonna do a full day. We're just gonna go for a good few hours, get yeah, any we'll... last bits we wanted. I'm gonna make you spend some money, and I. Yeah. <laughs> There's a few bits there that I had my eye on, and couldn't. Even... We didn't stop really any of the stores no. to buy did we no. today so we've hopefully given you enough of an idea of what you can expect at the NEC this week uh, if you are going yourselves later in the week we hope this video has been useful to you you can sort of get an yeah, idea yeah you'll enjoy yourselves. it you'll enjoy it but it was a good day out wasn't it yeah we enjoyed it as yeah, well yeah yeah <laughs> so if you've liked the video make sure you like it yes please feel free to leave us a comment as you probably already know by now any comments that are left we do uh, try our best to respond to each and every one of you um and yeah if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button but until next time guys we'll see you in a bit try guys <laughs>